Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong, and welcome to the back of his Teardown Lab. I have another bag. Can you tell where it's from? Yes, it is from poundland.co.uk. And as usual, I forgot my carrier bag from my massive pile of carrier bags. But I thought I'd show you what I bought, because I think I got a few bargains. I always buy the same sort of things. Um, and if you are in need of these things, then you can buy some too from Poundland. We'll just go through them here. Oh, mysteriously, my computer behind me has just turned itself on. Excuse me one moment. Of course, some total asshole decided it was a good idea that computers should be able to turn themselves on from sleep by moving the mouse or touching the keyboard. The keyboard I can live with, but the mouse, I mean, you've got optical mice, just a vibration will set them off. Or sometimes the cable's got a little kink in it that decides it's gonna unkink itself and it drags the mouse slightly. Uh, it's just a pain in the ass. It's, it's, it's a new motherboard as well and it doesn't seem to have the option in the BIOS, so I have to dick around in Windows later and try to turn it off. Anyway, I digest. Let's talk about what I've got here. So the first thing is this microfiber mitt, and these are absolutely super. It's gone on again! It's gone on fucking again! Right, pull the power on that this time. Don't know what's going on. It's clearly clearly designed to drive me mad. Microfiber cloth, very good. I uh, first got into these when I uh, started washing my motorbike when I first bought motorbikes and uh, they're really good because they let you get your hand in all of the nooks and crannies around the fairings and stuff but then I started using them on cars because they've got this rather neat feature that on the front obviously you've got these like soft furry worms um, yeah, maybe these are good in the bedroom. Mm. Um, and then on the back there, you've got this sort of weird uh, mesh material, which is a bit like some of the running tops I've got, which tend to try to grate your nipples off. But it's really good for removing sort of dead flies and sort of hard ingrained filth. So yeah, I mean, for a pound, that's pretty damn good. It's going to last you probably a good few, you know, a summer at least. Maybe get a couple of them while you're there. Um, just make sure you always rinse them out when you're done and just dry them off nicely. You don't want any grit stored in them. So uh, yeah, perhaps have two. Maybe have one for the first pass, which is the dirty pass, and then one which is sort of like a cleanish pass. There, Pro Driver Microfiber Mitt. Great pickup power. Yes. Hi, ladies. Want to come with me? Next. My favourite, my favourite two-pack epoxy. I love this stuff. I use this all the time now from uh, Panland. I was first introduced to it when I was driving to a meeting. Um, the meeting was in Basildon of all places, so it took like at least an hour and a half to get there. And in the last 45 minutes of the drive on the M25, I could see my wing mirror hanging off, literally hanging off on my car. So uh, I nipped into town because I was early for the meeting. So I was literally like 15 minutes early and I thought, I've got a brainwave. I ran into Baslin Centre, into Poundland, picked me up one of these, a set of uh, sponges of all things, you know, like this sort of sanding sponges, well, even normal sponges, like dish sponges, sanding sponges, and a roll of tape like this. And basically in the car park, I was able to take the mirror off, clean it up with the sanding sponges I bought, right? Mix some of this up. In fact, I mixed pretty much most of the tube of it because I just smeared it on the whole back of the mirror. Pop the mirror into the actual frame and then put the same sanding block on the mirror as a sort of to apply pressure to the glass. And then I just taped that up. So then I went and had my meeting, came back, undid that. Mirror was bonded on perfectly. And it really does set fast, this stuff. I mean, it's a really good fast setting resin. I'm so impressed with this. Um, I don't know why I didn't buy loads of it, to be honest with you. I should have just bought like five of them because I, you know, they are definitely worth having in your armory of glues. No brainer. Now you might see on my channel, of course, these knives and these are these knives. Um, I've still got a fair few of this. I think actually I've probably only really used up one of these and a small one from my last batch, but they're pretty good. Um, I tend to just sort of keep using the same blades. Obviously they're meant to be sort of snapped off and I don't really like doing it to be honest. Look, you can see like there, it's, I don't really know how you're supposed to, frankly. I always just try to do them on the edge of a desk, but I'm gonna try here with the pliers because I think that might be a safer way. Let's just try this. Yeah, that works better. If you've got pliers, I think that's definitely the way to go. Let's try that again. Got it there? I'm gonna sh zoom in. Focus, 
focus on me. There we go. So let's try again. Ready, steady. Yeah, that's probably the sort of safest way of doing it. But then what do you do with the shards? Yeah. So I just tend to sort of uh, don't bother just chopping them off. I just sort of progressively use the sort of base where it's sharper and sharper till they're just totally useless and then bin them. See, now what i got, uh, I don't even know what to do with these now. Got a little magnet here. I'll just stick them on a magnet for later. Um, yeah, pound, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blades. You're not going to go wrong on that. They're going to last you for ages. Again, pretty weird Tommy Walsh is on all these products. I mean, he hasn't been on telly for at least 15 years, but no problem. Challenge 25. So you have to be 25 or older, or at least look it, to buy a blade. So you just don't go out and start knifing people. Although, to be fair, you'll have to bring a knife with you because you're never going to get these out of the box without a knife. So that's that. Now, before I go on to this one, I'm going to just talk about some Yoohoo power. If you have used Yoohoo in the past, it's a contact adhesive and it's pretty damn good. Uh, I'm a little bit disappointed that this box looks really massive and then you get this small tube, but to be fair, it is actually pretty much the actual size that it shows on the packet. But I'm not going to complain too much for a pound. It's really good. It's sort of a transparent glue, contact adhesive, slightly foamy, which is exactly what you want because it goes into all the nooks and crannies. The way to apply it is really put a smear on surface A, for example, here, a smear on here, a smear on surface B here, and just leave it. Literally leave it for like five minutes, ten minutes, you know, blow on it if you want, and then just apply them like that. That's why it's called contact adhesive. Once they make contact, they're going to be pretty well stuck. They're not going to stick instantly, but you'll feel them. They'll have some tack. Then just put some tape around it or something like that. And then I don't really know what the curing time. These have got quite a long curing time. It's You're talking hours, yeah? I'd leave it till the next morning, next day, 24 hours, whatever you've got. It's a longish time. But whatever you've bonded with that will pretty much stay bonded. So you can see here on the box, they're showing it on shoes and rubber trims around the window and the vinyl on the end of a desk and a bit of trim on a car. I mean, it's really useful. And I, I pretty much use it on everything. I don't think there's a material yet I've found that this hasn't been good on. And if you look at one of my earlier videos, I've actually used it on a ceramic clock. So it even works on terracotta. So yeah, Yoohoo Power, a pound. And then hard as nails. So the reason I got this was, um, you, there's always the need for using a sort of solvent-free type bond for wood. And I used to use this sort of uh, yellow stuff for model making, cyano or something I want to say it's called, might be wrong, um, which is really good. And then you have the white glue that you get in the big old bottles of white glue. And whenever I go to use them, they're always dried out. You know, it's, you open them and they'll dry out. You don't really need to repair that much wood normally in your day-to-day -day life. But the sort of no more nails and hard, hard as nails is actually pretty good for that. And it comes in the small tubes. So you're not going to waste too much. And you can seal it pretty well when you're done with it, as long as you clean your pipe out. Um, it does seem to work really well. It's, I've, I've used it for all sorts of things like architrave and trim, wood. You can see here, wood, bricks, plaster, concrete fencing, metal. Um, it goes to, it's kind of like a weird, it's like a combination of solvent and putty. Again, though, it takes quite a while for it to sort of cure. You can see here it actually recommends if it's a, a loose surface to sort of use PD, PVA on there to sort of size it up and stop it from uh, being you know porous on your hand. But it says here, fully dry within 24 to 48 hours. So this is you're in it for the long haul with this one. But if you like here where you've got a drawer front hanging off and you use that, it's it's never going to come off again once you've done it properly with that. Uh, again, maybe you could get away with doing a repair like that with Yoohoo, but Yoohoo's just really not going to have the same kind of bonding up to wood that this will have. So you remember there's overlap with all these, so you know, there's obviously they do super glue as well, but I tend to already have loads of super glue around and I don't really use super glue that much because it's not so useful. Um, but you can get it from Powerland too. Um, you've got overlap in the sort of uses for this. So really where you use the hardest nails, you might be able to use uh, resin so you can resin a draw front on for sure but you're never going to resin architrave or plaster so you're going to use that for that you who you're probably not going to want to use it for either of those things uh, more plastics metals repairs like that of that nature so hopefully that's been of some use to you and you're going to now run down to a pound shop near you uh, probably poundland and i'm going to say poundland big shout out yep you did a good you know you you're always there for me poundland uh, you've not disappointed me when it comes to these sort of Tommy Walsh range of handy stuff and actually your car section's okay it's not too dear it's really good actually when they've got 
windscreen wipers because windscreen wipers are they're pretty cheap on eBay to be fair but like £30 windscreen wipers are £30 in Halfords are £7 on eBay are £1 in Poundland so you, you do the math Please leave any comments down below on your amazing Poundland finds or any of your comments on any of the stuff here, especially the uh, adhesives. I do like to talk glues with you. Um, please like, share and subscribe if you're that way inclined. I have set up a Patreon as uh, a popular demand. Uh, nobody's clicked on it yet, but if you do want to buy me a coffee, I'd really appreciate that. As ever, guys, stay safe and thanks for watching.